Hi, I'm Dar with the Helia Technology Report. Today we're going to have a look at how to configure Helia Tel SIP trunks on 3CX phone system. Uh, so let's jump in and see how it's done. Okay, so here we are on 3CX version 15, and the first thing we're going to do is go over to uh, the SIP trunks. Now, uh, you can see we have one SIP trunk here already, and what we're going to do is add another one. So, you're going to get some information from your provider. This is what we provide over at Heliotel, and uh, this information is actually going to be available for about an hour while we make this video, and then it's gone. So don't uh, don't try and use it; it's not going to work. Uh, but we have a phone number, register, username, and password, max sessions. So what we want to do is I'm going to grab this uh, phone number because I'm going to need it right away, and then we're going to go and add a SIP trunk. Now, uh, country is going to be generic because we don't show up in this list, and you put the main trunk number in. Uh, second step here is uh, different things like the registrar. So we have that information here. I'm going to select this, copy, and we're going to put that in for our registrar as well as our uh, outbound gateway. A number of simultaneous calls, in this case max sessions is two. So we'll put that in there as well. Uh, the type of authentication needs to be account based. And so this is where our user ID is. Uh, so I'm gonna take our username, stick it in there, and then the password as well. Uh, routing information, so this is all pretty standard. Uh, where the call should go when a call comes in. Normally it's not to a phone, but it might be to an auto attendant, a digital receptionist. And let's just have a quick look through the other ones. So you can see the phone number uh, shows up here, which is great. You might want to put in the outbound caller ID as well, though it is not necessary. Uh, the other information here, this is all very, very standard. Uh, inbound parameters. Uh, this is how it recognizes the caller ID for routing. And then there's a few things that we want to change here really quickly. And it's this P asserted identity uh, for the user part. So uh, this is only important if the call uh, comes in from, uh, so someone calls you, it comes in the system, and then the, the call gets forwarded out to your cell phone. And if you want that call that shows up on your cell phone to include uh, the caller uh, number, the person that's calling the company, you need to stick it in here. Otherwise, it just comes up with the company uh, phone number and not the person that's phoning you. So, originator caller ID for both the uh, P asserted identity user part and the P caller party ID uh, user part. So now we're going to go and we'll click OK. And so it says uh, not registered. It hasn't set a registration uh, in here. So we're just going to click on here and you can see the registration is set. Uh, I might want to change the generic name here. Normally what I do is I use the phone number in there as well. So I'm going to just go put HT for Helia Tel and put that in there. OK and now you can see the number. So that's really all there is to it, to setting this uh, up. Uh, if you have information, you can email us at support uh, at Healy.ca with your questions, and we're uh, always glad to help. Thanks for watching. I'm Dar with the Healy Technology Report.